Hello, hello, happy Friday everybody. Is it Friday already again? Does it feel like a week's past? Because it feels like nothing passed. It's like, oh, it's Friday again. Hmm, what have I been doing all week? Actually, I've been pretty busy. So let's dig right in. You guys wanted to see that jacket I made last week with black and I filmed that for you. It's actually pretty darn cute. <laughs> in every video. Okay, so I was a little iffy on this jacket, but now I'm thinking that's a great way to show off any fabric that I'm in love with because it's just super cute, flowy. It'll go with black pants and a t-shirt anytime with boots or sandals or whatever. It can be dressed up or dressed down. Love it. Love it. So I'll probably make that again if it's light and floaty. If it's heavy, it wouldn't look as cute, I don't think. But that's just me. Okay, so I'm I'm holding here my latest make. I talked last week about making leggings and I did it. Oh, these are the best leggings I've ever had. They're custom. I kind of just measured out a bunch of old leggings and kind of got a general consensus about the fit that I like. And I did a whole lot of using my ruler. This ruler is amazing. I think I talked about this a little while back, but it's just a ruler that tells you where the stretch is on fabric. And yeah, you could print your own or whatever, but this is so handy. I have been really checking <sighs> leggings that I like and doing the measurements on them. And um, my favorite leggings feel like second skin. They don't feel like they don't hug you or they don't take suck you in or any of that. It's just comfy leggings for not wanting to wear pants but wanting to wear a, like a tunic or a dress. Like almost like tights, but not tight. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys have figured this out by watching me, but I'm into comfort for sure. So these leggings are like the most comfortable thing ever. And it turns out the stretch I like on my current ready-made, you know, that I didn't make, is 100 this way and 100 this way. Very stretchy, and that makes all the difference. So I went through all my fabrics and found this fabric was 100 and 100. So you just take the fabric and you hold it, just lay it down, and you have it at 1, and then you have it at five and then you grab five and you pull and there's a hundred 90 80 70 60 and so you just do that and then you turn it this way and you hold it at five and you grab it that is what i needed so not a whole lot was a hundred a hundred i had 160 i had 140 135 and i might try some of those just to see how they fit but i wanted a hundred a hundred for my trial and they are amazing now I've never had a pair of leggings I didn't take apart <laughs> and turn into what I wanted. Waistband wise, I'm big on the waistbands. So the reason I don't like tight pants is because I have some scar tissue from a surgery that was many years ago. And it just, it just kind of, it doesn't feel comfortable when I wear tight things around my waist. But let me just say, um, additionally, I never really liked anything tight around my waist. Anyways, so I just, everything has to be comfy. And if you also just like comfy, then you would love these leggings. They're really, really comfy. So this is my trick. There's only elastic in the back, no elastic in the front. That's why they're so comfy. And I use pretty much my serger, except right here at the hem. I did a twin needle. Otherwise, this whole thing was made with a serger. And oh my gosh, I mean, that was my first pair, and they went super fast. I can make these in no time now that I've got my pattern. So this is the pattern. I made it myself. It's got a waistband. And that's it. And a little piece of elastic for the back. That's it. That's it. doesn't even really take very much fabric. So I have my own custom leggings pattern and I am going to be whipping these out because I cannot have too many of these. I wear leggings every day. Sometimes when we're camping or traveling in my camper, I sleep in them too. So I just, I just wear them all the time. 
Second skin, I'm telling you, second skin. Super soft, super soft. So this was in my order. I'm gonna find this fabric and put it in my description box in case you want this fabric. It, it is not exactly black, so that does not make me exactly happy. But it's a dark, dark gray, and I have some dark gray, and I wear that with a lot of things. But I really want black, so I'm still holding out for black. Um, oh my gosh, I might have bought this at a store locally. So if I bought them online, I'll put a link in my description box. But as I find others, I will let you know where I got the fabric. But that's my leggings. Custom. I don't really have a picture of me wearing them. Well, I took a picture just kind of when I first put them on. I'll show you that. OMG. This is my first pair of custom leggings. And they are literally the most comfortable leggings. Oh, sorry about that. They are literally the most comfortable leggings I've ever had. <sighs> They're awesome. So soft and so comfy. Woohoo! Now I'm going to have all the leggings I ever wanted. So now let's talk a little life. Uh, my life is actually a lot of sewing in my personal section of this video, but it's like, I don't know how to explain this. You guys are going to think I'm nuts, really, because I feel like I'm down a rabbit hole, you know? Uh, so I made that hoodie dress pattern weeks ago, and it's mine. It's not from an adjusted dress here or there. I drew the dress I wanted. I made it up. It's mine. Everything about it is mine. And I, you know, this takes a lot of adjusting. These pants are, I drew this, and I can't draw I did a lot of erasing and I had rulers and you know measurements and stuff but this is mine so I thought well I you know I did backtrack back when I was making a bathing suit last spring I bought some pretty bad patterns on Etsy and I thought wow you don't have to be good at this to sell a pattern <laughs> that's rude right uh, but I didn't, re like, I didn't complain or anything. It's just, you know, you take your chances a few bucks and you like the pattern or you don't like the pattern. So I thought right then the seed was planted. Could I do that? So on my hoodie dress, I love it so much. I want to share it and I want to make a video making it and I want to be able to make sure that people could have this pattern. And so I, um, I hired somebody to make my PDF. <laughs> <laughs> I heard too. Actually, the first one was from Bangladesh and he did a bad job and so I lost my money on that one, but whatever. And then the second one's in Morocco and he did a really good job. So that one is still in the works because I um, it was finished. And then I decided to add something like I'm going to do a cowl neck, not just a hood. So I could do two versions. My hoodie dress has three sleeves. This is the mid, the um, three quarter. I like this length because you know you don't have to push your sleeve up and then the long sleeve actually has a little bell and I just drew him a picture and he made the pattern piece so that was pretty nice so I feel like I'm gonna sell this pattern on Etsy we'll see what happens um, can I just say that my husband and I own our own business we always have and it hasn't always been the same business and I feel like we have like entrepreneur syndrome like everything we do and everywhere we go we think oh my gosh you can make a business out of that i mean we were playing miniature golf with the kids in eureka and we're like we should have miniature golf in our town how hard would that be where would you put it you'd need property you'd need and we're like oh wow we're not doing that business that's not for us but it's a thing it's a syndrome so when i saw that pattern i started thinking could that be a business I'm not looking for a job and I'm not looking for a business, but a hobby job would be fun. And I really would love to share ideas that I have. I sat down and sketched out three other ideas that I want to do. I don't know how they'll turn out, but I have ideas. Like I want to make things and, and I want to be able to share them. And my focus on everything will be comfort. So, you know, that's my niche, if you will. Comfort, big time. Um, so I kind of just love the idea of businesses. I've been in business, me and my husband, our whole adult lives. And so I kind of know what, you know, what, I am a planner. Like I'm not an organized person, but I'm a plan. I kind of am when it comes to this. And so I kind of just think that it comes from these stages, idea, 
and then you have to make a decision. So that would be your next step. Is this idea going to be something? Am I going to pursue something? And then you have planning. You know, you've had the idea, you've made the decision, now you start plotting and planning and making lists of steps, step by step by step by step, and then you have implementation. And where I'm at with my hoodie dress is I'm in implementation. I've got the planning done, I've got the steps in order, I'm working on instructions, which I think are the most important part, so. But, and then implementation and then market, you know, marketing and get it, get it going. And I love marketing so much. So I'm trying to make a bunch of hoodie dresses to be able to show a variety and every version, I want to have one and then, um, take some pictures and my instructions. My mom agreed to proofread my instructions and make the dress. So we'll see. And I'm just kind of excited to see what happens. And I don't want to price it very high because I want people to have it. And then there's fear. And there's lots and lots of fear. And honestly, I almost feel like you are not on the right track if you don't get afraid. Isn't that weird? But I do. I feel like you're not even you're not even in the zone if you're not terrified. <laughs> I have all these like, what if people hate it? What if I get a bunch of bad reviews? What if nobody's dress turns out? What if they waste their fabric? Oh my gosh, tons of fear. But nonetheless, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I'm going to put this pattern out and see what happens and this one's right behind. I haven't ordered it yet but man he'll have no trouble making this and I was actually going to learn how to do the the making of a pdf. That's not easy. There's so many things I don't want to know how to do. Hubby could probably figure it out but it would take a lot of time and he has to work and so this guy in uh, Morocco just sits at his computer and he knows how to do PDFs and he knows how to draft patterns. He knows how to draft patterns. He fixed my pattern. So on my hoodie dress, he said, I trued up, you're this, and I straightened out, you're that. And I'm like, thank goodness. So it helps to have like a pro, you know, fix it a little bit. And so I'm really happy with him. He's kind of popular, so I have to wait. He's got a little waiting list, but um, very affordable. So that was kind of fun. And you know, now I'm starting to think about the Etsy store that I haven't even opened, the branding, the names. I'm calling my dress Hoodie Hugs because it hugs your figure. And these are going to be comfort waist leggings because that's the, that's the thing that makes these different. If you want suck it in leggings, this is not your pattern. <laughs> if you want, don't even know you're wearing them because they're that comfortable, this is for you. So, <sighs> there. I've told you my little secret I've been working on and it has been quite a lesson. Just working with the pattern maker has been a lot of learning. I'm still trying to figure out the best size chart for me. I have no idea how to tell people how much fabric they need. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of think I know how to say it, but I want to be correct. I, I mean, finished garment measurements. I have no idea how to tell people that. Uh, so I got a lot of learning to do. Lots. But I love that pursuit and that puzzle. So uh, I guess I've started a hobby business. And on that note, when I started, I, I guess it's on that note, when I started my YouTube channel, also a hobby, I was, I, I, this year, I got into a group of content creators that are also all sewers. And they were talking in a, in a feed, in a, in a little feed about um, YouTube ad revenue. And I'm like, well, I don't even have that turned on. Like, I just thought, ads are a pain and they pay you what like a half a penny or a quarter of a penny it's like that didn't even sound worth it and somebody said why don't you just turn it on to your most popular videos you know I have a few that have just gotten views consistently ever since I made them my cushions my dress form a couple of things like that and so I turned it on and I made uh, you know you know five dollars ten dollars and I'm like woo woohoo <laughs> So I turned on the ads on all of them. So I apologize, you have to watch those stupid ads. But you know what, they sent me my first check. I had to prove I was a person, and I had to go through all this rigmarole, but I got my first check and um, it's from a lifetime. So it it's, feels like a lot, but um, that's really fun. Uh, so, uh, you know, I can, I can use some of that to buy more fabric. Not, it's still a loss, but uh, yay. How many people can get a little bit of money for their hobby, right? So, uh, you know, hustle. It's like a side hustle. Isn't that what the young people call it? I have a side hustle. So now I have a side hustle of my channel and a side hustle of making patterns. And um, maybe I'll even say I'm a, I'm a, 
a pattern designer. <laughs> God. There's the fear. Boom, the fear hit my head right when I said those words. Nuh-uh. That's what I was thinking. But I have other ideas and um, I'm just going to think of it as fun. And I used to listen to a call-in show. Oh my gosh, you're in my 20s. And um, somebody would say they were nervous and the host would say, call that excited. And I like that. So I'm going to think of my uh, butterflies as um, excited. But I'm really, I'm really looking forward to seeing this baby get born. <laughs> so now you know what I've been working on. It is consuming my thoughts. All I can think about is these patterns. And, I'm, and it's like, a, I want to make a bunch of these and then I'm ready to start on my next one, which I'm really excited about. It's kind of an idea that I've had in my head. And then I've had a few things that I've actually made that were just mine. And I want to show other people how to make them. So what do you think? I mean, is this crazy? Am I crazy? Who knows? It will find out one way or another. I could just be one of those bad patterns that people buy and they'll sell, oh, well, I won't buy another one. Oh, I'm not putting that out there. Erase that. It's going to be wildly popular. Everyone's going to enjoy them because everybody wants to be comfortable. That's the way I see it anyways. So I've been doing a lot of sewing and a lot of learning and... I've been enjoying it a lot. I'm enjoying the change of the seasons. I'm ready for boots. It's still warm, but I'm ready for boots. You know, it's always about the boots, right? I'm ready for boots. So, and now I'll have leggings, lots and lots of them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll look forward to seeing your comments. And um, thank you so much for stopping by and watching my channel. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye now.